Greetings, this is Manny Knight, aka The Serial Doodlist, and I'm back again for a brand new video for this Saturday. This video is going to be a My Materials video, and I'm going to be just going through roughly some of the materials I use to make my doodles, illustrations on Instagram, and what I use when I'm making a YouTube videos for you guys, so let's get right into it. So first thing to note is I use a lot of different materials all the time, but the materials that are by me right now are my main bread and butter stuff that I'm using at the moment. Um, when I usually travel out, I usually have like a little pouch, but I'm redoing all of that stuff because I plan on spending the rest of the summer drawing in cafes and coffee shops because I want to be more cool and just I want to be more creative and the best way to get inspiration is to always draw from life. So yeah, um, my materials. So let's get right into it. So right off the bat, I use a 0.5 lead pencil. Nothing too fancy at all whatsoever, period. I think it's HB lead. No, it's 2B lead to be exact. It's 2B lead. Uh, this is pretty much a Flomo 0.5 pencil. Pretty easy stuff. Uh, I got this at a 99 cent store actually, which is a steal. I mean, since when are 0.5s like 99 cents? Well, here in New York, they're like, if you go to an art store, they're like three, four dollars a pencil, and it's like, okay, whatever. But um, I found this really neat 99 cent store in Brooklyn that sells them in a pack of like five for just like a dollar. Stole them all, <laughs> bought them all. I mean, um, it was a steal. It was honestly a steal. And then they come with a lead, uh, basic to be lead. But you can also fill it up with like all the other types of lead that 0.5 comes with. And um, I have a ton of these actually in my little uh, compartment case that I use to refill these babies. Um, as you guys see all the time, oh hoo markers are my bread and butter now, my go-to. When it comes to just coloring things and or just messing around with color and experimenting. Right now I have uh, ah, the cap faded off, so I, I have green a nice mauve shadow and a nice pink that I'm going to be using for a draw to be part of this video showcasing all the materials I use. Um, over here I have three pens that I usually use when it comes to just doodling some concepts and these are Stedler I believe they're called. Nope, these are Stabilo. These are, uh, come on focus. It's not focusing for me but these are uh, Stabilo fine line pens. Man, I, I'm bad at like putting things in front of the camera. These are fine line pens that I usually get for like a dollar sixty-nine cent at like a Blick or a... Well, there is only Blick now. Or any other local New York City based art store. But I'm sure they're all over the place. And they should be roughly a dollar and change. Um, I have them in blue and well, teal and pink as well as black. And I have over here my favorite pen ever to use, uh, Lay Pens from Marby Japan. These are my favorite type of pens to use when it comes to fine lines. They are awesome. I used to use Sakura pens all the time, but yeah, I kind of fell off them. No, they're an amazing brand, but I just I like things a little bit more simpler that I could just buy for a dollar because I'm cheap. And these are like a dollar and change as well. Great investment for you feeling like just do some quick doodles and fine lines. I do have a Sakura Pigma. Whew, have a do I do have a Sakura Pigma brush pen that I use for brushing things. As you all as you all see right here. I feel like I should like show you guys. There you go, like lines and whatnot. Excuse me if my voice is like a little different today because I'm hovering over the camera and usually not but I wanted to catch my audio a lot better and for thicker lines I have my sharpies I have my sharpie permanent marker with the chisel tip and then I have this big bold black one that I'm uh, in love with uh, just nice strong black lines and then you have the chisel tip hopefully this is the one that has yes there you go um, when I'm not using my Ohuhu markers, I'm using basic Sharpies, or I'm using Tombow markers, which I absolutely love Tombow markers. I'm going to do a review on Tombow markers very soon. I just need to actually just buy more. Um, Tombow markers are amazing, amazing medium for uh, watercolors or just wet-based drawing. Oh my god. These are like Ohuhu markers on crack. 
And to end it all off, I just have like basically uh, this nice basic black fine line pen that I have on me. And um, other than that, yeah, these are my like immediate supplies that are usually around me. I'm going to now cut to like my station area where you'll see more of my art supplies. Here, this is the rest of my art supplies, the rest of my Ohuhu markers, my brushes that I use for watercolors and acrylics or any type of painting, my art toothbrush that I use to flicker white spritz or just spritz of paint. Over here is my miscellaneous markers and highlighters. As you can see here, all types of just cheap and expensive things I've collected over time. Here goes Spidey. Here goes a pop figure Spidey head that it broke off. And in the back, I have my watercolors here. Oh man. So this watercolor set I use to death, as you can see. I have, it's near the end of its lifespan. Then over here, if I move this, my miscellaneous things like my memory cards and my hard drive stuff and whatnot, I have a, another watercolor set right here. This one I use to travel, and I have to buy another one because it is, oh my god, it is so hard to open this with one hand. Okay, I have to buy another one because it is dying. Well, it's not really dying, my white is gone, but I should use it more. Well, there's some areas that I've just I've used to death. But yeah, this is my travel compact watercolor case. I used to have a water brush, but I lost that on the train. Been beating myself up about that. I lost that like years ago though, so that's not much love lost there. I recently installed this uh, wall shelf to hold more of my art supplies so I have more drawing space on my desk. The only reason why I'm not drawing right now on my desk is because the sunlight is actually hitting my bed a lot better than it is my desk. I do have these lights, but I have to replace the batteries. Here is the rest of my miscellaneous art supplies that I use to draw when I'm, when I'm drawing and writing and planning. My uh, mark, my permanent, well not permanent, but you guys know what I mean, my uh, uh, whiteboard markers for when I'm doing projects and plans, as you see right here. And right here is my color pencils. And these are just a mix of watercolor pencils, I think a few pastels, and just like basic 99 cent store uh, color pencils that just get the job done. There's no like defined order or number of them, they're just here. And I use these a lot as well, because I'm a big fan of color pencils. And these are those are my art supplies really that I use for my go-to stuff. And in here is my... Uh, erasers and like I said I have a compartment full of just lead as you see leads of all kinds I'm mostly packing 2B right now I want to get like some HBs and that's about it for my like quick immediate art supply setup I need a lot more I mean I have paints but I put them away in another compartment in my desk and I just don't feel like pulling them out but um and you guys wouldn't be able to see it because it's dark but yeah now I'm going to get into the draw part of this portion, which is a lot more funner. So my uh, draw with me slash my ma art materials video I think this was one of my quicker videos that I've done I tried to like time lapse it as nice as I possibly could I really enjoyed this piece I like it a lot I like that I replaced the blacks 
for the shadow and shading for with like a really nice light purple. I think that's a really pretty touch to it and I think I'm going to do that a lot more moving forward for um, illustration pieces. Overall, yeah, that's been the video. Thank you guys for subscribing. Um, like I said, we are on a goal. Once we hit 30 subscribers, I'm going to be uploading a special Canvas YouTube video just for you guys for uh, putting your faith and, you know, putting your subs to me. There's a lot of people out there that make amazing, wonderful art videos, and I'm glad to be one of them that you're currently subscribed to. For new subscribers, thank you guys so much for coming on in, and for the Day 1 editions, thank you guys for supporting me from Day 1. Um, I never thought that I would be making these so frequently, and we're about 22 videos strong now, and that's just blowing my mind. And honestly, thank you guys, because you guys are making me sit down and actually think about the things that I want to do in terms of this channel, in terms of this project. And I actually have clear-cut goals for this channel with you guys, with me, moving forward into January of 2018. Wow, look at me. I can't even, I don't even know what year it is. That's bad. But yeah, going into January 2018, into March, I, I have some strong ideas for this channel and goals that I'm going to be talking about in the next video, which might be a bonus video because I'm super inspired. So look out for that. So with that being said, thank you guys. As always, you know where to find me in the subscriptions in the bottom, you know, the links and all that and whatnot, and tap that bell if you guys like. Honestly, I just like when you guys watch me, so it doesn't really matter to me. So I'll see you in the next video.